Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and today we are carrying on with the Outer World. Now, hopefully, all the audio should be fixed. I know it was very loud in the last episode, um, so I'm hoping it sounds better this time. But we have the geothermal power plant here. Okay, so somehow we need to get in here. Here they come. Uh, somehow we've got to get inside. Oh, a bracelet, heavy ammo. Have I missed something? I must have missed something. This can't be the way in through the back. Okay, so we can't shoot through there. Ah! That makes much more sense. Hole in the fence. Yeah, they take a lot of hits. Hang on, let's try some melee. Ooh. Bit like Fallout, melee weapons are actually quite powerful. Oh. Something just cut out then. Um... On my headset that was weird uh, let's carry on and hope that it doesn't die okay yeah that Ow! I didn't know that happened I thought it would just do some damage not kill me Right, we're back where we were. Uh, there is a vendor here. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Hmm, interesting. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with the associated faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Interesting. Oh, we got a light machine gun there. Space is choice. Can I um, sell some of my... Uh, weapons. Let's sell some of these. Uh, I'm trying to get enough. Oh, we got armor there. Do you know what? I'm going to sell these weapon mods because I can always get more. Um, and I want that. Uh, it's the only choice. Nice. And the smaller weapons obviously means that we can run faster. From the planet to your living room. I'm guessing this is where we get to choose whether we take the power from one place and send it to another. 
I'm hoping it is, because if I do the wrong thing, I'm going to be sad. But at least we get, um, sort out what we need. Right, so let's continue. Oh, we have a sentry that's dead on the floor. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Uh, so we need to get in there somehow. Ay, 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 ay. Let's give this new gun a try. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, so we need a load of ammo. This thing, what I've noticed is it chews through ammo very quickly. I didn't expect it to be that fast. Um, I don't know whether I've got Fallout stuck in my mind that makes me think, oh yeah, guns should shoot pretty slow. What's this? Bit cartridge? What's a bit cartridge? What on earth is this? Bypass shunt. Fair enough. I absolutely love these, like, loot and shooters. Um, so games like this, Fallout, absolutely love them. Um, ooh. Oh. Okay, so I need to pick either botanical or edge water. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. That is sealed off. There's no way through there. Oh, personnel files. Okay, uh, the company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. He died. Oh, okay. Ah, Thompson. Well, that was easy enough. There's something laughing at me somewhere. Or it sounds like something's laughing at me. It's trying to mock me. Something is definitely like mock Unexpected. sounding. Unexpected item in banging area. Remove this item before continuing. Yeah. That's the last of the sentries. Um, okay, so there's something over there. Two more. 
What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? Vale? Not real. You're not real. Oh, there's someone here. I would like to know who you are. Who are you? What are you doing? What is your business? Oh. Oh no, he's being attacked. Shit, we need to save him. I'm pretty sure this isn't very stealthy if we're literally just. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. System. Get shredded. Shredded wheat. Yep. Oh my gosh, that does like two damage. And I have no ammo for any weapon. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Yeah, huh? Oh. But she was asking questions. Oh, workbench. Uh, we have no modifications. Oh, we have an impact hammer. Hang on. And um... wait, do we? Oh, is that our companion's weapons? I think it might be the companion weapons. How are we supposed to get out of here? Oh, ah! They're all in here. I, I ran into it without checking. Stop, fuckers! was lag there to be fair this game's run pretty smoothly to the point that i a little lag stutter or something is not the end of the world for me i know there are gamers out there that are like ah oh, it's just stuttered ah oh, end of the world i'm not sure what the ride is all i know is the decision's final where do we go do we go back to the system? I will take that. Get away! Where's Higgins? I want to try and find him. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. Of course. Do excuse me. 
I experience brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it <laughs> as a reminder. I'm pretty sure he is kind of insane. Uh, what is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Uh... Jimmy opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all for my old workroom just over in the next section. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. We can take them on. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Ooh. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Uh... The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. No. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. You mean why did the mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voices told them to do it. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. Okay, so, I've as usual, clicked this I'm voice out. line already. Why am I doing this again? Uh, I should go now. Uh, that's the master control terminal. How do I find out side missions? Uh, journal. Botched, I'm guessing, is bad ones. Ah, this side. That makes sense. Uh, what are we actually looking for? Oh, hang on. Uh, there is a terminal somewhere. I also love the sensitivity of this game, like, the look sensitivity is just right. It's one of those games that you probably could just pick up and do. There was no point in that, was there? Okay, so where's this terminal? That thing is mocking me again. I don't know what it is. Oh! 
Hang on. Oh, we got a light machine gun ourselves anyway. So I wasted all that. Those points. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Lovely. Love it when I waste points in this game. Or any game, for that matter. There you are. Where are you? Don't you run off. You mocking me. Ah, get back here. Get back. Where the hell did he go? Is that a... No, I don't know where this terminal is. There is a terminal somewhere. I can't find it. Um... Do this, there's no going... Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Uh, I wouldn't mind I hearing. I don't think should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cool. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? She's got a fair point. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. I uh, use terminal. Power to Edgewater. Okay, can I talk to I you think about it? The brightest thing you could send the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for, even if they ain't care much for me. Uh, so now we need to go, hang on, uh, journal, we need to retrieve the power thingy, what is the power thingy, what is the power thingy I hear you ask? Well, the power thingy is a thingy that powers the thingies, and the thingies are the power thingies. Please, please, if I ever do something like that again, just kill me. <laughs> the power thingies. <laughs> the power thingies. <laughs> uh, it's brilliant. Um, right, we can't run through there. So we need to get the power thingy from, I'm still going to call it that, from the actual botanical garden, so I'll be back in a minute. Right, so we're here at the botanical lab, and the first thing I notice is there actually is no power. This sign isn't illuminated anymore. Oh, 
Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Uh, right, we need to go into here. That is sealed off that entrance. Sealed off. Oh, workbench. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I feel bad. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. I need help Tell convincing him. That I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell them how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Uh, you think that'll convince I Reed? I have got a means to cure the plague, and I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. He said my boy didn't deserve treatment said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. If Reed doesn't actually cooperate, I'm going to kill him. Because I didn't realise actually how bad this was. But I feel like it could do better towards them in general um but we need to speak to just want to go see what happened what happened sprat fell into a transformer again everybody keeps staring at me it's not my fault the power's dead whoa miss parvati hey you're uh what um how, how are you hi 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 uh, hello are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no, I I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Uh, I'll take that as a compliment. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. 
Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. I could give you all the some help pointers. I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Mm. Would you? I'd be grateful. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. Could do. What's on your mind? Luck, mostly. Nothing's needed serious repairing yet. Nothing's broken down that we can't just replace with something scavenged from the outskirts. Well, not until the power went and cut out. Now everyone's giving me sidelong looks, expecting me to work some miracle and get the generator humming again. Saying this quite loud. Uh, I should go. Who else do we need to talk to? Deserter, deserter, deserter. Don't see why Thomas can't just get the generator up and running. Something I can help you with? Nothing. With the power gone, we've got to conserve our supplies. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. The matter's been weighing on me. Fact is, I can't go anywhere long as Zoe's missing. Disappeared without a trace. Marauders took her, I suspect. Not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, mm. but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Oh no. That's such a bad line. Unless Marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. No. Appreciate it. Honest. I'm not saying that. Um, so it looks like these guys just won't leave. Um, but we have our part now. Uh, where is this? The unreliable. Uh, we can go back to the unreliable. What's this green thing? Uh, that's a geothermal plant. Uh, we'll fast travel to Edgewater and my controller batteries are low. When are they not low? Uh, let's plug this into the wall. Here we go. The power thingy is ours. The thingy and the power thingy with the thingy power thingy. Thingy. Uh, right, uh, journal. Right, we need to get rid of Reed, who is all the way up there. 
We are going to threaten him. Something you need? Uh, we'll talk later. Right, you need to leave, sir. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. Her son got sick with plague a couple years back. Company never gave us enough medication to treat the whole town. So I had to choose, you see. Adelaide's child or someone else's. She's never forgiven me. I don't expect she ever will. I have been holding this town together with both hands. You can't just expect me to leave. I am a spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. Oh, everyone's making me sad. Unless you can demonstrate to me that we are helpless without her, I see no reason why I should stand down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? And when you say special fertilizer, you mean what exactly? Corpse is mostly Adelaide human. Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's... Come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. You're right. I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down, then stand down I shall. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague, and she knows how to tend to crops. She's what this town needs. Take care. Okay, we didn't have to... We didn't have to threaten him. We didn't have to kill him. That was good. I wanted to kill him. But he's... He's not a horrible person. I can't just kill him if he's not done anything. Yes. All uh, right, let's go to Adelaide and tell her she is needed. Let's fast travel to the botanical garden. <laughs> you can use these mods to upgrade your gun at a workbench. Adelaide. 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 Look at that. The snakes come back. Yep. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town 
and carry on with our lives as best we may. Hopefully, Edgewater looks next like to it. Me, you know, injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. This don't put us on even footing, you understand. But it is a start. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Oh, I still feel really bad. Um... Right, what time is it? Uh, yeah, we got enough time to go back to our landing spot. Geothermal power plant. Here we go, landing site. Spectrum vodka, glass for every glass. What? That doesn't make sense. It's a very good game. It's very story based. Um, but there is obviously the challenge still there. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Looking at me badly. <laughs> when I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but. Every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to Fair enough. Something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back. I can do that too. What do you think? Uh, pick a cabin. Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! I got a captain. <laughs> <laughs> She sounded very excited then. Ada! I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. What can I... Something just died again. Uh, I have Do a power you regulator. Want to install a power regulator? Uh... Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Oh, we have a workbench in here. Weapon parts, sword off shotgun. Nice. Uh, what's this? Tossable stick. That was a good thing you did, Captain. Helping to bring the deserters and Edgewater folks back together. I hope you rest well on that. Yes, I did a good thing. Uh, we'll talk in a minute. Um, I need to repair this quickly. Yes, I didn't explode. Okay, so I can go to a companion page and upgrade my companions. Oh! Companion ledger. Oh, so I was right. This is all uh, of the companion's weapons. 
So we can upgrade her weapons um, as well as ours. Um, so we can give her extra base health, extra threat generated. Uh, increase your engineering skill when Pavati is in the party. Huh? That's a mouthful. Okay, I'm going to give her extra health. I think would be a good option. Come on, down you come. Let's have a chat. Something you need? Uh, I know you should mention your dad a lot. Kind of how I never met her. Oh. Well, I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Fair enough. Tom seems very He's fond of you. Interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kind of. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd love to do that. Uh, let's get back to it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. Uh, it would mean the world to me. And it's not actually that expensive anymore. So, have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.